You may have heard of the recent stories surrounding the Facebook scandals and the supposed breach of data, uh, privacy issues, security issues, etc. And there's a call for people to stop, there's a movement for, for people to stop using Facebook, you know. And I am not listening to those voices and I'm going to keep using Facebook the way that I'm using it. And same thing, YouTube, right? That there's calls for people to stop using YouTube for various reasons. And I'm gonna keep using YouTube as well. And I'm gonna explain why. The primary reason why is that I don't wanna live in fear. If you were to really dig into the digital privacy issues and security of our data online, you will become more and more afraid and the, the only rational, I guess you could call it rational, stance is to stop using the internet altogether. Because no matter what you do on the internet, even if you use a private browsing window, incognito, you are still being tracked in some way. And yes, some, some hackers or the government or corporations could use that data against you. That is, I made a decision a long time ago to stop paying attention to that kind of fear mongering. And I have used the internet very openly, sharing my opinions, um, not being afraid for 15 years. And nothing bad has come to me, nor to anybody that I know personally. And I think there's, there's maybe a spiritual principle here, or maybe it's just a, a scientific rational thing that the people who live in fear tend to either attract more situations, some, some weird magical way, they attract more situations that make them more afraid. Or maybe it's just a, a neuroscience thing where we, we pay attention to the stories of fear that other people who are not living in fear don't see, right? And so by paying attention to the fear and by prioritizing security and fear, you will just keep going deeper and in de deeper into that rabbit hole. I don't think it's healthy and I don't think it's necessary. Okay. Um, personally, I think maybe the reason why I can be so secure about it is that I believe that, you know, I have a spiritual faith that everything is going to work out no matter what happens. Even if some harm comes to me, right? I believe that things are going to work out in, a, in the greater, grander scheme of things in terms of my soul and my consciousness and all that stuff. So, so even the fear, any kind of fear on this earth, in this life is illusory. But back to just the earthly life here. Um, the thing about data breaches, supposed data breaches and things is that it is usually involving millions or tens of millions of people. It's not about you. The government doesn't care about you individually. I mean, unless you're involved in some, um, you know, act, harmful activities. But nobody watching this is involved in trying to, you know, ca come, cause physical harm to anybody, right? So most of us citizens are really, really boring, right? No, no, nobody cares about your personal life, right? And corporations trying to manipulate us when that has been happening for thousands of years that the media or people in authority have tried to manipulate our opinions by coming to understand who we are whether it's through focus groups or you know through salespeople individual one-to-one -one, you know door knocking and trying to understand who you are and looking through your physical mail to try to see how they can sell you on various things I don't know but, but don't live in fear that's my that's my encouragement to you if you decide to stop using Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or whatever it is, okay, that's tracking your data, the world loses your voice. If you believe that there are certain things that need to be expressed in this world, there are certain values or virtues that need to be enhanced, okay? And it always need, it's, it's always in need of enhancement, values and virtues and, and good messages. I don't want to lose your voice on the internet. By using things like Facebook and, inter, uh, and, and YouTube, etc., you have the opportunity 
to move the global consciousness just ever so slightly in the direction of good or what you consider is good. We need your voice. So instead of being afraid and thinking you can punish Facebook by deleting your Facebook account, you're not going to make a difference with your deletion. And, and you know, it doesn't matter what other social media platform you decide to use in the future, that is going to have problems with security and privacy as, and tracking as well. That's how any media platform, you know, makes its money, right? In some way, they, they use the data. But um, anyway, whenever there is a choice to live in fear or to live in love, I hope you will always choose to live in love. And when it, it's, when it comes to this issue of whether you should stop using Facebook or YouTube or whatever, if you live in love, that means you live in expression to say, this is who I am, this is what I believe, and as you do that, you will draw forth to you your kindred spirits. That's the beauty of the internet, is through searches and through suggested videos and suggested posts, your kindred spirits will find you if you are willing to express what you believe and express your authentic self. And you will be helping them, remind them of the things that are important and the things that are good. We need your voice. Please don't stop using these technologies. Instead, use them to share your authentic self.